Alright guys, so in this video I am going to be showing you what in my opinion is the most underrated hand cannon in the game. And I will say at the beginning of this video that this hand cannon is no longer obtainable. You could only get this hand cannon in year one if you play Trials of the Nine and you luckily got it from a package. Now what makes this weapon so good? Well, it's basically the fact that it's a 180 hand cannon. On console, 180 hand cannons are by far the most consistent, reliable and uh, simply deadly hand cannons that there are. The 140s and the 150s and the 110s are just lagging behind in terms of ease of use, efficiency, stability, consistency, you name it. The 180 hand cannons have them beat. Why is that? Well basically 180 hand cannons, if you're in the optimal range, require two headshots and two body shots to kill. It's a one second time to kill, it's really nice and quick. Obviously the Lunar's Howl and the Not Forgotten are, you know, in a class of their own when it comes to time to kill. But I will say this, as far as all of the 180s go, if you don't have a really well rolled trust and uh, you're playing competitive for example, you need to get the headshot step done for competitive. If you have this thing in your collections, take it out, take it for a spin and you'll see what I mean about how nice this thing is. Obviously the 180 hand cannons are known for having pretty bad reload speed. This is offset by the fact that this thing has Outlaw on it. It also has Grave Robber, but that's neither here nor there because Grave Robber is, you know, sometimes useful, sometimes not. But having two reload base perks on a 180 hand cannon is pretty good. The stability on the gun is so nice. The sight is so clear. The sound of the weapon is awesome. It's basically good in every single category other than reloading and I would also say range. The range is pretty poor and that's where a well rolled trust will have this thing beat. If you get a trust with high range, it will definitely perform better than this. However, I'm telling you on like small, medium sized maps, this weapon is so nice. I absolutely love using this thing. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay that you're about to see with me using it. If you have it in your collections, pull it out. If you're a brand new player to Destiny 2 and you didn't play Year 1, then you know, tough luck, you're not going to be able to use this thing. For those of you who can, take advantage, take it out of the collections, take it for a spin, let me know what you think. And uh, that's it from me guys, I hope you enjoy the gameplay, I'm going to be going live on Twitch now, helping people get Luna's Howl. If you're interested in that, make sure you head over to the stream, twitch.tv forward slash shake17. Peace. I can't believe what I'm seeing! Zone A captured. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them. Don't spend all that ammo in one place. Zone B lost. Zone C lost. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. I've seen enough. I'm calling this one. Come back when I see one. Fight on! Your legend, Rose.
five minutes remaining. With you on the field, there isn't a border I could not push, Titan. Double down. Gained ground, but it's not over. minutes left. Your legend, Rogue. Enemy can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> yes, now show them the true meaning of war. Down. Your legend, Rose, triple down. Double down. One minute left. Got thirty seconds. Ten seconds.
they defeated you, but there will be other battles.